Soon, and senior Brian High School. It's a triangle! And this is my poem. Hey, <clears throat> I'm Dr. Anna. I'm a professor for social awkwardness. I have a master's and bachelor's degree in embarrassing myself and from time to time others as well. I suck at small talk, big talk, talk in general. I get anxious in front of people, my hands wetter than the Niagara Falls, my heart beats. Dubstep, house and metal at the same time. Long story short, I'm introverted. People tell me I'm so quiet, but I never know when to say what. My Google history from thrillchipsfordummies.com to smalltalkfordummies.org, I... How not to be creepy? <laughs> People tell me I am boring, but stare when I laugh randomly because in my mind, I'm hilarious, Comedy Central 24 hours, but never say it out loud, afraid nobody laughs at the fact Mozart or can entitled Leck mich am Arsch, and yes, I know the whole song, and no, I don't translate that. <laughs> People tell me I get clingy, too attached, but I'm the best listener, and whenever you are sad or I feel like you are, I bury you in love, give you more hugs than all carrots together, and more chocolate than Willy Wonka. <laughs> Big crowds? are horrifying. <laughs> Thousand people staring at me, secretly dodging every inch of me, just waiting for that open flyer, that broccoli between my teeth. And I know I shouldn't care, and nobody else does either, unless I run out naked with a McDonald's bag on my head. <laughs> that kid on the news was me. <laughs> Being alone is even worse. Endless nights, my head about to burst, thoughts that make me want to jump for the next bridge, Every embarrassing moment, saved in chrono chronological order, ready to torture me. I still remember that weird comment I made first grade. Uh oh, you pregnant, Ms. Schultz? She was not. <laughs> People tell me I don't have much friends. True, not even on Facebook. But then I tell them about quality and quantity. I may just have five friends, but I trust them with my life and even my Chipotle discount coupon, if I have it. <laughs> friends that understand when I lock myself in a local ro restroom because I need time to solve my thoughts and some rest from all those noisy people. Friends that understand when I want to talk about the meaning of life and discuss conspiracy theories about why the automatic water flush never works for me. <laughs> Around them, I can be myself. Around them, I can talk about the anxious little gazelle I am. Long story short, I'm introverted. But I just told you a poem about myself, and surprisingly, I survived. And even more surprising, most of you listened, even though I still look close and don't have any paper bags on my head. Thank you.